probability of any event E is defined as P of E equals, it's a ratio of all outcomes favorable to the event E divided by all possible outcomes. Today, we are going to focus on how do we find out all possible outcomes. So let's take a look at a few examples and let's try to find out for those examples what are all possible outcomes. So if we were to toss a coin, what is the probability that we will get tails? Again, the focus right now is not to find out probability, but try to focus on finding out all possible outcomes. So what are possible outcomes of tossing a coin? Well, we can get a heads or we can get a tails. So we know that if we were to toss one coin, there are only two possible outcomes. Let's take a look at our second example. A dice is rolled. What is the probability that we get a three on the top? Now, we know that what are the possible outcomes of rolling a dice? Well, they are the number one or two or three or four or five or six. Any of these numbers can show up on the top. So we say that there are a total of six possible outcomes. Let's take a look at some more examples. Say we were to draw a playing card from a deck of cards. What is the probability that we get two of clubs? Now, what are all possible outcomes that can happen when we draw one card from a deck of cards? Well, there, we know that there are 13 cards of spades. We know there are 13 cards of diamonds. We know there are 13 cards of clubs. We know there are 13 cards of spades, of hearts, I should say. So we know that there are a total of 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13, 52 cards. So if you were to draw any one card from a deck, we can draw any of these 52 cards. So there are 52 possible outcomes. Let's take a look at one final example. Let's say we have a bag and the bag has one red, one yellow and one orange ball. I pick a ball without looking at it. What is the probability that the ball I picked is red? So what are all possible outcomes? Well, I can pick the red ball, I can pick the yellow ball or I can pick the orange ball. So I can pick any of the three balls. So we say that there are a total possible outcome for this example will be three. I can pick any three balls.